This episode of Intoxicated is brought to you by Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa's goal is to bring clarity to the jewelry industry. Plus, their jewelry is made with recycled materials and start as low as $39. And if you use my special link, shop.analuisa, that's A-N-A-L-U-I-S-A dot com slash Kelsey, K-E-L-S-I, you can get 10% off all products. I am obsessed with my Willow necklace. I always feel naked without jewelry. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but this necklace just adds such a unique look to any outfit. It's gold with two different styled chains. Guys, take this as a sign to spice up your style with Ana Luisa. That's A-N-A-L-U-I-S-A. I almost forgot to mention that new jewelry collections are released every Friday. So don't forget to use my link shop.analuisa.com slash Kelsey, K-E-L-S-I for 10% off all products. Again, that's shop.analuisa.com analuisa.com slash Kelsey for 10% off. Hey, Kelcats, welcome back to another episode of Intoxicated. I'm your host, Kelsey Davies, and I'm here with a very special guest. We got here, Garrett Clayton. Hey, everybody. Yay. Garrett is an actor. He's a singer. He has a podcast. He, you you do a lot of things. You want to introduce yourself yeah. a little bit? He was he was in Teen Beach Movie. If you guys yeah you guys watch that, <laughs> I've been an actor for a while, and um, I've been getting more into the online space a lot since the pandemic too. And yes, I feel like I'm I'm just so lucky to get to do so many cool things. Um, I don't know. Just I guess brag, it's like, Garrett. I'm Garrett, not good at that. <laughs> Garrett was on like Hairspray Live, and Garrett's... I was I was on Disney Channel for a while. King Cobra. Yes, I did that. I was on The Fosters, and I still gotta um, watch King Cobra. I did some Lifetime stuff. You know, remember? Uh, do you remember Karate Kid? Karate Kid. Are you a fan of Karate Kid? Yes. Okay, good. I'm a big Karate Kid stan. Well, I talked to someone the other day who, who they were like, the what? And I was like, how dare you? <gasps> and how so one they? time, Ralph Macchio played my dad <gasps> in this, in this That's amazing. Lifetime Christmas movie. What? It was, yeah, it was amazing. Oh my gosh. Yes, Garrett, we met through like TikTok. We met through social media. Mm. And now we hang out and we do TikToks together. That's right. And you always, if you guys follow me on TikTok, my TikTok is K-E-L-S-I-I-D-A-V-I-E-S. If you guys don't follow me on there, um, you can see Garrett and I doing some fun little dances on there. Always. And, and Garrett has a TikTok. Plug your stuff. Yeah, I'm Garrett Clayton One on all platforms. And uh, one, why is it? Why is it one? Because when I first got Instagram, I feel like I just remember putting a one because I was like, oh, I just want to differentiate in some way. <laughs> and then I realized everybody was just using their names without numbers. And I was like, oh, crap. Oh, I got you. I yeah. got you. Garrett, before we get started, what is your intoxicated choice of the night? Oh, I'm already high. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody who normally watches anything I do and is like, why is he acting so weird? It's because... We're high. I, We're a little yeah. bit high. We've had some... Um, it's a hybrid. I think this one was strawberry gelato or something like yum. that. It's, it was yum. Me. It's a good, yeah. it's a good strain. I, I see it in your eyes. I know. I feel it. like <laughs> I've also never been high on camera before. Really? Yeah. So I'm it's nervous. a first here on Intoxicated, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I'm always high on camera, pretty much. So <laughs> that's. I mean, that's why this show. When you told me about it, I was like, Oh god, this sounds like, so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good time. We have a good time here. Last week we ended on. I always end with a cliffhanger. Um, my bad. Don't mean to. But usually end with a cliffhanger cliffhanger and my last cliffhanger was about the spirit of a woman who visited me named Val and she was a murderer. Have I told you about this? No. Oh my God. So I got to update you guys before we get into some of our amazing topics we have for the night. I'm super excited to discuss these with Garrett, with yeah. someone who's in the movie industry. These are uh, mm -hmm. some of the, I don't know, we're going to talk about some really <gasps> There's actually things. a movie I did that talks about psychics or it gets into like um, being able to like astral project but it's also the movie is bonkers really <laughs> i kind of want to watch it and it's also uh, i have to tell you about it after you're done yeah, with yeah, this. Sorry, yeah, i didn't mean to interrupt but no, i was like yeah. don't let me forget it because this I, is intoxicated you're but, meant to yeah. interrupt <laughs> but i've never i don't know why i've never i feel like an idiot for never bringing this up because it deals with like a psychic element in the movie <gasps> really yeah oh but keep God. going with your update with your update because oh everyone's gonna God. be mad that you have to you're, they're waiting for this update. yeah no okay so well i did a whole movie on it basically i did a whole youtube video it's like 58 minutes long if you guys want to see this is also live 
on YouTube. We're uh, recording this. You guys can see our faces. Um, it's K-E-L-S-I space D-A-V-I-E-S. If you guys want to watch this on YouTube and watch this movie I made. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So the spirit of a woman named Val came to me and she was a murderer. She showed me all these like heads and she showed me these tunnels with running water and she wanted me to find this area where she uh, was claiming that she killed all these people and never got caught. Did you go and find it? Yes. Did you find bodies? No. So we went and I didn't know anything about these tunnels. I had no idea where we were going basically. Like I knew some YouTubers had gone to these tunnels and I was really drawn to them because like it was near a dam and she showed me running water. But there was no, you didn't, there was no bone. Did you look it up? Maybe they already found the bones. No, no, no. So listen, listen, ready for this? I'm going to creep out Garrett. Okay, No, ready? I love this stuff. Keep going. <laughs> I've Keep predicted going. things for Garrett, too, so he knows I'm legit. Right, you, right? Oh, you, yeah, you have. Yeah, I have. You, I have. Kelsey called when I got Fairly Odd Parents, yeah, literally yeah. days before it was like, there's a big TV opportunity coming, and you're getting this one. And I was like, I'm up for this TV show yeah. right now. And you were like... I was like, you're going to get I think, it. I think, yeah, this is the one. And I was like... Okay. Yeah, and I said TV. I wasn't like this is. You're very acting. specific. Yes, I was like, you are going to get a big TV opportunity mm -hmm. and take it, like take it. It's gonna, it's gonna be great. It's gonna yep. bring you to other things. Like it's gonna expand your horizon. Like take it. And I love, 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 love everybody on that show. It Good. was. I was originally only supposed to be one episode, and then they brought me back for five, and then <gasps> they and they've wanted to include like I'm doing the press junket with them on the 22nd. They're, they've like really brought me in and included oh me, gosh. and I feel so lucky. I just Family I love Odd Parents streaming on Paramount Plus. Yeah, coming out March 31st, my birthday month. Really? Yay! And I love this show when I was a kid, so this is really exciting for me. Yay! I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna sit there really high and be like, I know him. Yeah. That's Garrett. He's he's there. <laughs> he's that's him. That's a person. What's your character again? Um, I mean, I guess they said that I could. Say, I said yeah, I was able to say, say something it? on this. I did it more. Yeah, there was an. Okay, I am allowed to. I talk know you about like it. posted about it, but I don't so know if you're allowed to. So I play again. this character who's. Um, <laughs> he's kind of. He's based. Do you remember? Did you watch the show? Yes. Do you know? Um, that was my whole childhood, dude. Do you remember Chip Skylark? Yes. Yeah, Chip Skylark. Yes, Chip Skylark. <laughs> John Teeth that twinkle. That one in Icky Vicky. <gasps> yes. Um, Vicky but they, was Icky. But we renamed the character oh. for, like, that was one of the things that was taking a play on modern, and it's Dustin Lumberlake. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, Dustin Lumberlake. <laughs> so funny. That's your character? Yeah. That's amazing. I but can't it, wait to freaking see this. It's just like a fun, it's, ah. Uh, it's a fun. It's a fun. It's time. such a good job. Well, I, Vicky good is job. Vicky. Good people. Good, like good energy. Everybody cheered each other on the whole time. Like the crew and the cast and everybody. Like uh, everybody in Video Village and just everybody was having such a good time good. and like was just gushing about being together. Oh my gosh, that's so yeah. fun. Aw, oh, I want to get into acting and I want to get to that point one day. You inspire me. Oh, I you. love you, You Kels. inspire me. But uh, speaking of Icky Vicky, we got Icky Val who came right. to me. So she was flaunting her murders at me. She wanted me to find these tunnels. Oh, I flaunting. went, okay. yeah, she was flaunting them. I went, I found these tunnels and I was with Ashley. Ashley helped me find them. And when I was driving, I just like felt myself being pulled to this direction. We didn't even put the direction of the tunnels in the GPS yet. Mm -hmm. And I just started driving and I felt like this was the place that she wanted me to go to. She then, like we did a spirit box and stuff, she was giving us directions. Mm -hmm. She was like, go right, like telling us where to go. And I found out later after we went to these tunnels that um, there were people that tried to summon an antichrist in these tunnels. The same night? No, like back in the past. And there were all these missing kids that were never found. No one knew what happened to them. And Val's coming to me saying, I murdered these people. I was never caught, all this stuff. Like she never got caught for any of it. And none of the children were ever found. And they were all went missing in that right next to those tunnels. And my friend Joey was there with me. He read the sign that said, welcome to hell. Right when he read the sign, the we had this device in front of us. It turned green, which is like usually yes. And like it turned green. Our devices were beeping and like, it was insane. You guys got to watch the video, but it was, I just had to update you guys that there was, this was legit. Like, I really think that this woman murdered all these kids and I think that's what happened to them. Oh my God. 
nuts. It was an insane adventure, but I wanted That's to go. That's gotta be nuts. Yeah. That's gotta be nuts. It was insane. Yeah. Like, I don't know. When they come to me like that, it's just so draining and so overwhelming a lot of the time mm-hmm. that I don't know why I decided. I was like, I want to find this place. Like, I want to face my fears. You mm-hmm. know, I've had spirits come to me my whole life, and yeah. I wanted to face my fears. I want Garrett to come with me on an adventure. <laughs> well, because we, so people don't know. I mean, I've talked to Kelsey about this before, mm-hmm. but there's um, a family member of mine has like the same, like similar abilities yeah. to you. But it runs her, in his family too. Hers are really visual, mm-hmm. and it's also it, also with a cousin of mine. And they've, those are like the two people I knew in our family that had like similar things as you. But it's so visual for my great aunt that like she won't, she can't even open her eyes when she gets out of bed at night. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Because like, I guess her. I, she like really sees Some them. like real, like, I think there's also like an energy for her where like, like things happen to know that she can see. Yes. Really that's vividly. What happened. Yes. And so she's always like you know it'll go in and out and all of a sudden it'll be really intense for a little bit and then it'll like dissipate and you're just like depending on she will stand only the back at a funeral like in the back of the mortuary won't go into hospitals like there's like very specific things that she's like i literally just can't i can't do it i do get overwhelmed at those places but i don't see them like as much as probably she does you know Mm -hmm. as clearly she gives us like she'll give like clear depictions of things like it's very mine are very their mine are not crystal clear so if i had it crystal clear like that i feel like i would be the same way you know like yeah no, there's not a handbook on this stuff. No, like at know? night when she, you know, going to the bathroom, like won't open her eyes uh, at all. Oh yeah. She's like, imagine. you just have to like do what you got to do, and you have to like feel around. Oh my Absolutely gosh. Not. It's like uh, I just want to go. I, I have to. I just want to go pee. It. What? <laughs> Garrett's high. <laughs> I know. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I everyone wanna... else is nervous. Is me? <laughs> Why are you so nervous, Garrett? It's intoxicated. Chill back. Yeah, grab your. <sighs> Grab your Celsius we got. Usually we got like Trulies, but we got Celsius today. So good. It's like three good. in the afternoon. I love a good Celsius. They're great. Celsius. It's a Saturday and we're having Sponsor me. a good time. I, you know, I feel like they would love to do that because this is a great show. Oh, thank you. Yeah. We're going to go into some missing celebrities that I wanted to get into. There's a lot of conspiracies. I did an episode with Drew about missing celebrity or not missing celebrities, but celebrities who passed away and and they are believed to still be alive or their deaths were big conspiracies. So I like going into that and I thought we could go into a couple celebrities and I know that you've watched like a Britney Murphy documentary and Mm -hmm. there's like a bunch of weird stuff about, maybe we could go into Britney Murphy first. Sure. Like if you guys don't know who Britney Murphy is, she was an actress, she Mm -hmm. was known for like the movie Clueless and she was in, um, what else was, she was in a bunch of stuff. Oh my God, yeah. One of my favorites of hers that I don't think is many, cause you know, like obviously Uptown Girls and um, yeah. what's the, wait, Drop Drop Dead Gorgeous. Drop Dead Gorgeous? ever seen that uh-uh. it's about a beauty pageant where the pageants keep getting their the beauty contestants keep getting murdered but the cast is an inc- it's an incredible cast i feel like i would gonna, like that that's like my type of movie it's amy adams first movie really and i love her it's uh oh allison my- jenny <gasps> is in it and uh kirsten dunst and- oh kirsten dunst i love her here let's look at <laughs> britney murphy's can let's see what people say online about her death i know that there was like it's really sad you know but like I guess there was a lot of like weird aspects around her passing. Like she lived in this same house as Britney Spears, who Britney had experienced weird things like with her health in that house, the same house Mm -hmm. or something. And I think Britney Murphy died of something similar to what Britney Spears had. There's like a bunch of weird things on it. Mm -hmm. Um, But let's see. Like there's some kind of thing in that house maybe? Yeah. um, Like what if there's some sort of dark energy in that home or maybe some type of like mold or something you know what i mean mm-hmm. like some type of substance that's making them sick yeah i think the whole conflicting points in that are her husband yeah yeah so she at 8 a.m <laughs> she collapsed after experiencing flu-like symptoms for a few days she was taken to seer cyanide medical hospital medical center where she was pronounced dead i guess they concluded that her death was the result of untreated pneumonia combined Mm. with anemia and drug intoxication from prescription and over-the-counter medications including painkillers and cold medicine so these are like cold medicines and stuff it's like she was sick 
Yeah. Like, it's not like she was on illegal drugs. Like, there was no illegal drugs found in her system. Mm -hmm. So she passed away from, like, a freak sickness type <clears throat> thing, which yeah. is weird. It's like, that doesn't happen a lot, I feel like. And especially with her being so out there, I feel like she has a lot of, like, you know, the tools necessary and the mm. care necessary to treat but stuff But wait, like I have that. to Google this because I'm pretty sure there's like the whole contention is about her. <laughs> I put P's instead of M's and it's just Brittany. Brittany Perfy. Brittany Perfy. Brittany Perfy. Why is that funny? Any... <laughs> <laughs> it's because her eye. What I'm reading, this is People Magazine. They're not really explaining Oh yeah, because her husband died her right husband. after her. He died. Wait, he died too? I didn't know that. What happened to Brittany Murphy is the documentary, and a lot of what, which apparently involve her husband, Simon Mojack, his okay. questionable past, and the couple's marriage. Questionable past? Bum, bum, bum. What did he do in the past? Okay, Simon certainly wasn't regarded oh, by others Cin as a good fit. And Cynthia Hill told People that Monjack was disturb a disturbed individual who was used to conning, conning people. people and britney was one of his last victims. so they think that he conned britney murphy they think he conned his own wife but like how did he I gotta die watch this documentary because i think i was high when i watched it were you i want to know there like was a pattern of behavior that became very obvious the more research that we did did he like Ugh. was there abuse do you think like did he was he like a bad i think he was very controlling you think so? Yeah, interviews in the trailer offered similar statements. Simon took her away. He made sure no one could get to her. Another person said, every single word out of his mouth is a lie. What? Whoa. So, yeah, this was really dark. Yeah. So yeah, I guess there was just a lot of like people had He died some, five months after she he died. He died five months. Was it from the same like illness The causes in the of house? his death were almost identical, identical to, to Britney's pneumonia and anemia. Honestly, Simon was even like, found dead in the same room of their Los Angeles home as she was. What if they were poisoned or something? Or or it's the house, honestly. Like, that's just a weird... So I guess Simon... I guess people didn't really like his behavior. They didn't like how he treated her. But it just doesn't really add up as to how she was found dead in the home. And he was found in the same room months later of the same illnesses, which... And then Britney Spears had the same illnesses as, like, or same symptoms that they had. Simon also took on the role of Britney's makeup artist in some of her final projects, which many found puzzling and a marker of his odd behavior and controlling tendencies. So he was very controlling, but how does that add up to her murder, or her death, her death? How does that add up to her passing, like... I don't know. I honestly feel like there's some darkness behind it. I don't know if it was something in the home, which is like, mm -hmm. or if there was someone both of them knew that maybe was giving them something or someone maybe in the home that was giving them something. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Just let me know in the comments what you think. If you want me to go deeper into this, because I will do research if you guys want me to go deeper into this. Yeah, this is crazy. This. Okay, we, we can keep answers. going on this. I know. We want answers. Like, I think there's, this documentary is, pretty thorough if I'm yeah not there's like a, i just have to watch it when i like, where can high. you watch the documentary a max original so it's on hbo max h hbo max that's right okay all right so watch it on hbo max guys if you want more into britney murphy like actually you have to text me when you watch it Oh, I'll text yeah. you. I want to, yeah. I'm like really curious, honestly. Mm. From Wondery, Rich and Daily is a podcast packed with laughs that delivers your daily dose of the latest celebrity gossip. There's so much gossip these days that it's impossible to keep up, but you don't have to worry. Rich and Daily has you covered. Hosts Brooke Sifrin and Arisha Skidmore Williams are comedians, besties, and the perfect guides to spill all the celebrity tea. They'll keep you up to speed on the secrets, scandals, and news in the entertainment world. Is that rumor you heard about your favorite celeb true? If it is, you better believe Brooke and Arisha will have something to say about it. In a way that only best friends can, Brooke and Arisha give their take on the stories that have the entertainment world abuzz. Rich and Daily uncorks the rumors and will leave you laughing and wanting more. I absolutely love both of their personalities. They just have such a great dynamic. I absolutely love the energy that this podcast brings. Listen to Rich and Daily on Apple Podcasts 
Podcasts, Amazon Music, or you can listen ad-free by joining Wondery Plus in the Wondery app. So now we're going to go into Natalie Wood. Um, so, <gasps> Didn't she die on a boat? Yes. This one was really <laughs> weird. This one, like if you guys haven't heard of Natalie Wood, I think she was an actress, right? Mm-hmm. She was an actress. And she, Wasn't she in West Side Story and like a lot? She was yeah. in a lot of really big movies. Yeah, no, she, she was, was a like... freaking star. Okay, so she she mysteriously drowned off of Catalina Island while her and her husband were out on their boat. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so I want to get into kind of what people say. And and if it's just them in international waters, so you can't, like, do anything, right? I don't know. I mean, if they're both citizens, then they would be... I don't know. I'm going to shut up and let you just talk. <laughs> I'm like so high. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> okay. So it was reported as an accidental drowning, which I always think is weird when you're like an adult, like an act, unless you're intoxicated. Do you know uh, how many people fall off cruise ships every year? True. But like so many... there's been like accidental drownings in pools and stuff like of adults. And I always think those are really strange unless they passed out, unless they had no, something. No, because you can drown in a really small amount of water if it goes it's down true. while you're it's in. True. If you're like, you but know it's what I mean? always like, mysterious, you know. It's like, how did that happen? Yeah. You know, you know what, what I, mean? I always wonder? Hmm. Actually, I don't always wonder this. I don't even know why I'm wondering <laughs> it now, to be honest. <laughs> what, what is it? If you hiccup and if you're in the, if you're in water, would you drown? <laughs> Wait, if you hiccup? If you're swimming in a body of water. <laughs> Why am I thinking wait, about wait, wait, this? Wait. Okay, go into this. Wait, I'm curious. I don't <laughs> know. Like, wait, if you if you're like swimming, like you're actively swimming and you're like, <gasps> you know, like oh, you like hiccup, you would you drown? But I feel like if you, you're you swimming, you won't let your mouth open, you know, unless like if you did. Like if it was an accident, you know what I mean? Like you're right. not walking around, you're not like, oh, I just want to open my mouth and hiccup. But yeah. Like, you know, anything's possible. It's like something that just happens. Maybe it has caused drowning. Well, yeah. I'm going into this. <laughs> like, you're like, so, it I is very possible. It's <laughs> very possible. Actually, <laughs> this article said, I like go into it. It's a whole conspiracy theory. <laughs> okay, going back into Natalie Wood. Officials actually changed it from an accidental drowning to drowning and, un- and other undetermined factors. Mm. The new coroner's report cited there were fresh bruises on the actress's arms and knee, along with a scratch on her neck and a scrape on her forehead head as evidence that she might have been assaulted before she drowned. I think she was murdered 1000%. Yeah, that sounds like a murder. It's a murder. Who was her husband? Robert Wagner. Hmm. And I think I think people reported also that he was kind of like abusive and she would complain to her friends about like things that would happen and stuff at home and then oh, once yeah, like she died everyone was like that's why everyone was you know concerned because Mm -hmm. he wasn't a good guy in the first place you know what i mean yeah okay they were aboard a 60 foot yacht where she was last seen alive on november 28th 1981 hours before her death authorities said that the three actors had dinner at doug's harbor reef restaurant in two harbors wait i go there every year i always go to that restaurant that's interesting okay called the splendor where they drank and an argument ensued between Walken and Wagner. According to the new report, Wood went missing at about midnight and the analysis of her stomach contents placed her death around that time. The report said Wagner placed a radio call to report her missing at 1.30 a.m. Roger Smith, the LA County rescue boat captain who helped pull Wood's body from the water said he didn't receive a call to look for her until after 5 a.m. That's sus. That's hella sus. I mean, how far away were they from the shore? I think they were like right off the shore or something. And then, like, how far away were they from like the docking area? Is my question. I'm not sure. Because if you were a couple hours out, you know what I mean, on a yacht. I think they were like right off, like right off the harbor, like right off Catalina, the coast. Yeah, right off Catalina Island. Like, I think they were very close. Yeah, let me let me read more. Did anything ever happen to him after? Did anybody um, find anything? Did he do anything bad to anybody? I don't think so. I don't think charges were ever filed. And Ooh, my Uber ride back from here is going to be, I'm going to be Googling all of this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I get so into it. The original investigators thought Woods, Natalie's body was bruised when she fell off the yacht and struggled to pull herself from the water into a rubber dinghy whose side bore scratch marks that seemed consistent with that theory. What if like she, he was drowning her and she was trying to get up? 
You know what I mean? That's the one thing I can think of with scratches on the side. Like, what if he was pushing her down and she was trying to climb up? That's so sad. That's the vision I'm getting right now, almost, you know? I don't know if it's, like, a vision or what this is. Maybe that's how she got the scratches on her, too, or he was, you know, aggressive with her, you know? Like, I think... I think he drowned her. I think like he physically held her. Like, it was clearly, like, fingers doing that, not, like, fa- you know what I mean? I think they like, said, like, bruise. I don't know if it was clearly, like, fingers or not, you know, on her arms. Because I feel like scratches can also come from, like, falling off. Right, right. I'm not saying that all these things aren't fishy as fuck. Oh, yeah. But I'm also wondering, like, what came from the boat and what would have come from a person. Exactly, for sure. Like, I feel like he, like, held her head down or something, you know? And, like, maybe she was really trying to get and up. And then that would make sense of why he would, like, restraining me would, like, scratch on accident. Right, and like, oh, right. What a dark thing to have to think about how. I know. It's so sad. Like. That must be wild for when you're doing this stuff and you're trying to, like, hone in mm-hmm. on, like, you know, what you have. Yeah. It's hard because you feel it a lot of the times. Like when spirits come to me and like they show me how they, a lot of the times they just show me. I don't even ask. Like they just show me how they, they pass. Is it like flashes of images or is it like, it's flashes. is it moving? Yes. Like there's flash, there's like, sometimes it's like a picture. Sometimes it's moving. Sometimes it's more clear than others. Like some But does spirits, it always feel like you're seeing a memory? A lot of the times, yeah. It's as if like I'm there. Mm -hmm. which is like it's kind of sad and scary but then sometimes it is from like a third person view where i watch them i see them bleeding i see them like or i'll feel it physically i will feel like if they were hung or something i'll feel my neck being pulled like super Mm. tight it's so strange and it's like i i actually get physical marks on my body sometimes from like people always see like red marks all over my chest and a lot of the times it's from like what they're showing me what i'm feeling you know what i mean or i'll Mm -hmm. physically feel like one side of my arm burning like it hurts Mm -hmm. and i'll be like grabbing it you know like it physically affects in such ways which is so confusing and so weird yeah yeah i never thought about that yeah Yeah, like things like every day well but you're also talking about like the angle at which it would happen yeah because this is you know you're talking about the conspiracy so yeah you know like if it did happen this way how would it have happened right right literally do you find that you become more or less desensitized while you're reading these things yeah a lot of the times like if you know like a lot of the times i do readings people get emotional it's emotional people cry and Mm -hmm. stuff and i'm not by the way i'm not saying you are desensitized oh yeah if it desensitizes if it it, like does it do you ever feel the weight of of looking into this so frequently? Yeah, yeah, I do, but it's something I kind of block out. It's kind of mm-hmm. like a, you know, I do desensitize myself, you know, because mm-hmm. I can't be so sad and so distraught yeah. by each person that comes to me, right. even though it is sad and it, it like I do feel bad. I just have to kind of like, you know, just hold my own and Mm -hmm. protect my energy so that it doesn't affect me as much Mm -hmm. if that makes sense and then when i'm doing readings people do get emotional and stuff and i try to like i don't know i try to not allow myself to get as emotional and just kind of keep my mind like focused on the reading i'm doing and on the whoever's coming to me and stuff i just try to keep focused but i do feel bad you Mm -hmm. know because it's hard it's hard speaking to someone else's loved one who passed it's very difficult handle i'm sorry i'm just so no, curious yeah. about your i like abilities <laughs> um how if you ever get that kind of energy like as like take up take it on mm-hmm. i guess would be the right is that the right word yeah yeah um words um so if you ever take on that kind of energy what tools do you have any like actual things you do to t- like help do you do like some kind of reiki thing yeah so i don't really do like i feel like i can do reiki i don't know i've always had these weird things where i like feel like i can i'm like a healer in some way as if i Mm kind of heal people but i for myself i kind of envision myself like you know protecting my energy so i'll envision like a light around me like me guarded like you know like kind of like a bubble around me like an aura type bubble where i'm like protecting myself and my energy and i don't know if it works but i feel like it does you know i don't know i feel like your mind's very powerful yeah and you know whether you call out to god for protection whether Mm -hmm. you use crystals for protection or any other you know religion or anything Mm -hmm. like that i feel like it all kind of works the same way because no matter what the energy you are putting out is that protective type energy right does that make sense? Yeah. Or am I high? <laughs> no, I'm I high it. too, but it, it might make sense. 
I'm high, but it makes sense. <laughs> it definitely makes sense. Now we're going to get quickly into, um, I want to get into some of the cursed sets. Have you ever... You mean like Wizard of Oz? Is that a cursed set? Was Isn't it cursed? that one of them? Maybe. It's like there was all these bad things that were happening to people while they yeah, were shooting yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Just like uh, Poltergeist. Mm-hmm. And Poltergeist. All the, yeah. the, all, you know, like the people in those yes. you know, died in like the crazy ways that they've, yeah. been passed, they've yes. passed away. And... Yes. Have you ever been on a set and thought maybe it, like there's something weird on it or maybe it's cursed or haunted in some way? When I actually, yeah. Really? I mean, I feel like for correct reasons, though. I was in the old, one of the opera houses in Detroit when I was, um, like, 15. Okay. With my dad doing, we were extras. We were zombies <gasps> in Zom- this zombie movie. That's lit. That's yeah, lit. it was great. And my, like, my cousin was working on it, and they were like, hey, do you want to come be zombies in a movie? And we were like, yes, of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> and so we then, um, I got to be this old man. Really? It was just like all, <laughs> and I, you know, like I was just in the crowd. You, I, I wouldn't be able to find myself. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, I would. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, that place felt so like. I remember during the lunch breaks, my dad and I would walk around and just like explore the place because we just thought it was so wild, like yeah. the waters and flooding in certain areas that were literally like up to the door. You know, like in Titanic, where yeah, you see the water all the top yeah. of the doorway. It's very that where it was just really? like this feels like you're in another world. It was beautiful. Right. It was. Uh, it it's still gorgeous, and they're actually they rebuilt. The train station is coming back. Like really? downtown Detroit is really in a I've never wonderful been. Spot. I've never been there. I want to go uh, though. It sounds I, cool. I love it. Oh my gosh, I it love, sounds historic yeah. too. I, love I feel my like home. there's a lot. Aww, yeah. Your home. We love hometowns. That's right. We love our hometown. <laughs> and what were we talking about again? <laughs> Trains and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're <laughs> we are just getting off topic tonight. So we are. Tonight it's it's three. It's the middle of the day. <laughs> it's, it's three, low key. Okay, we're gonna. But you're you you. This is at night though, right? When it when you people are watching. Because you said know. tonight earlier, so I was just trying to keep the timeline right. I said tonight? Earlier, I thought you did. Oopsies. And if you didn't... If I did, I, I lied. I thought you did. <laughs> it's definitely I not... Why. I think I usually film this at night, mm-hmm. so I'm used to saying at night. Right. But it's literally in the middle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get into the poltergeist curse real quick. So... I, on set, the the poltergeist, have you, if you guys have seen it, it's like about this little girl and she has, she literally like gets kidnapped into the other realm of like this poltergeist type creature thing. It's pretty scary, honestly, like for its time, especially it's a very, very terrifying movie, but it's definitely a good classic to watch. So the rumor curse, so there were actual dead bodies used on that set. So when she falls into the pool and all these skeletons end up around her, they were actual real dead bodies. And they think that maybe that was part of the uh, curse set because there was how many deaths there was a lot of like deaths and weird ones like one of them was murdered one of them what was it you mean all the deaths for the people in the movie yes. or the bodies they use in the pool no the deaths for the people so the little girl that starred in it i think she died of an illness i think she, she had crohn's disease is what this is saying mm-hmm. the other girl the sister was killed murdered strangled by her boyfriend uh, yeah. the native american man he died of a chronic illness and one of the other men died from stomach cancer. And I guess there's like a lot of weird things that have happened to a lot of the cast members while they were filming. Like there was weird objects that would move on set and weird mm-hmm. energy on the set. Like, do you believe sets could be cursed? Yeah. Like that, you know, like the craft, you know, the movie, the craft. Oh, I love that. Movie. Apparently like their ritual they did, they actually did like a real ritual on the beach. And apparently a lot of weird shit happened. Like one of the people were like, you you can't film this part. Like you can't, you need to change things up. But they wanted to use a real like ritual. And I guess there was some weird shit that happened. Like all the water came and flooded the set and like it pulled away all their shit. And like a lot of the people, like the lifeguards and stuff that worked at the beach, they were like, that was really weird. Mm -hmm. Like the tide's supposed to be low. It all of a sudden came up. Right. Weird shit like that. Oh my God. And then um, I know that when they were filming the movie Ghost, they used the same set as Poltergeist. 
or something. Why? And I guess while they were filming ghosts, they had weird things. They had weird experiences with a little girl that they would see. And they think it might have been the little girl who started Poltergeist who died. Oh, my God. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Like, I literally have the chills right now. Did you Do you know about the Wizard of Oz stuff? Yeah, yeah, I heard... Like the person who hung themselves in yeah, the back. Yeah, I heard that that, that was thing. like a bird or something. Someone said that. But like, then, like, the the woman who played the witch uh-huh. had, she, like, had, like, third degree burns. and Right, from had, the fire, the flame it, part. Mm-hmm. Oh and God. that the paint they used on her skin, like, poisoned her, and then she ended up having all these, all this, like... It's crazy. Issues. And I know and that the Tin Man, the same thing. Yeah. I think he, he had some kind of metal poisoning or something. Oh, or shit. There was like all these crazy weird things that would happen. Yeah. And that's that's so weird. I wonder if that set was cursed in any way or if it was just the you know, the chemicals that they were using. Like back then they didn't know any better, you know, like Well, they but even the explosion things. for her is what gave her the third right. degree burns. Like it literally That's weird. <sighs> like used fire like they weren't safe back then too you know people aren't safe today they need to be more safe that's true that's true the whole thing with alec baldwin that just happened that was awful right. so sad with the loaded he had a prop gun on set but someone loaded it i think they need to look more into that because someone clearly loaded it he shot and he killed he killed someone that is so and that's terrifying horrifying. people were like he should have checked the gun and stuff but it's like if you have someone in charge of props that gives you something i feel like it's like their I've responsibility had to use a gun on, too an on set before <gasps> that's the thing i was i meant to tell you what, what, what? and right but and it's before i have to go so it's perfect yeah, yeah 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 so i did this movie with nick cage and it's a literally about this woman who if she basically has to get him to choke her so that she can astral project what and she like sees the and communicates with these spirits Uh and something happens to her daughter and her daughter she before her daughter dies she like catches her spirit and is like you need to go back to your body oh my god and then the dead wife of nick cage ends up taking over her daughter's body and it's about what? all the crazy stuff she does that's insane but he, so basically nick cage keeps have to ha, keeps having to choke out franca patente okay from born identity and which they're you know what i mean like they're both the coolest yeah. people and she's also just like a really cool per- like oh, i love her yeah um that's so cool you uh, get she'll, to do that stuff she, yeah she'll always she oh, i love her so much um the whole movie the whole time we were shooting it we were like this is so crazy <laughs> <laughs> like, i bet that sounds like so much fun yeah there was also a couple of her sets the conjuring set which is kind of ironic because the conjuring is about this extremely haunted house um if you guys haven't seen it or heard the story it's it's a pretty interesting story also the annabelle I think Annabelle comes home set. I guess there's a lot of things. Maybe they summoned Annabelle's freaking demonic spirit on set. Oh my God. Honestly, if you're tapping into that energy and like telling Annabelle's story of this haunted doll, it's like, why wouldn't she be able to, or this entity be able to put their, you know, their freaking energy on that set. Like that energy's there. They're talking about it. They're reliving it. It's like, how could it not linger there and yeah because like, annabelle's real right yeah annabelle's like a real super haunted ass doll it was haunted a good movie. ass i like that movie so on the conjuring set vera F- uh, farmiga she's the one who played lorraine warren in she the movie is so talented it's crazy she's, she's amazing i really really like her she was very uneasy about making the film So she left the script outside of her house. Despite this, one morning she woke up to find three slashes on her laptop screen. So like three like weird marks, which three is usually, you know, not good. Usually it's like demonic, you know, demons have left like three scratches on people. And I've had experiences with this too. And it happened when the family who's real life haunting the film is based on was visiting the set so that's when it happened when this family that actually experienced you know the conjuring house and the demons and stuff you know, it's like what if they still have an attachment from that and oh it came gosh. to the set there they also said that they had a weird gust of wind follow them wherever they went 
Could you admit the spirits just farting Wait, on them? The family or the no, crew? like people who worked on the set, they would always be like, "I felt the gust of wind." Like they would walk around and like feel this random, just big gust of wind. Isn't that fucking weird? Yeah. Annabelle's director John R. Leonetti claimed to have seen three fingers drawn through dust on the set multiple times. So if they had like a dusty area, he, like three finger marks would appear on it. Which mm -mm. is so so creepy. And then oh. producer Peter Sarfran went on to tell The Hollywood Reporter about some strange going ons during the film shoot. We shot in this amazing old apartment building near Koreatown and we had some funky stuff go down. That area has a lot of history and a lot of haunted places Korea? too. Yeah. There's like, it's a weird energy down there. I don't know. Really? Whenever I go there, it's just different. But it says, in particular, the first day that the demon was shooting in full makeup, we brought him up the elevator. He walks out and walks around the green room to where we're holding the talent, and he just walks under the entire glass light fixture. Oh, he walks under the entire glass light fixture, falls down on his head, and in the script, the demon kills the janitor in that very hallway. <gasps> It's like the demon was going on this. Uh, you guys wrote this down, so I'm going to do it. How crazy is that? That's so he creepy. So killed the first person who played the demon? I don't think, I don't think the they died. The demon? I don't know if they died, but like he dropped the entire, like the entire thing just randomly fell on this guy's fucking head. As he's walking. Could you imagine you're just walking and all of a sudden this giant light fixture just falls on your head? That would suck. That'd be, nuts. That'd be really shitty. Like, that would fucking suck. There's so many other cursed sets that I want to talk about, and we will get into that in the next episode of Intoxicated. Thank you guys so much for watching and or listening, and thank you, Garrett, for getting really high with me. Oh my god, and this was so much fun. Out. You gotta come on again, and we'll talk about more creepy shit. Yeah, this is really fun. You like it? This is great. Yay. This is a great time. Yay, it's a great time here. Yeah. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed. Also, don't forget to follow Garrett. Plug your stuff one more time. Garrett Clayton Wan on all platforms. And I just want to say thank you, Kelsey, for having me here. Aww, of course. Anytime. Thank you guys for listening. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Stay woke, everyone. Bye. Bye.